being fully formed in you. Day by day, changed more and more into my glorious image. message y'all ever hear me <laughs> speak until Jesus comes back because <laughs> there's not much to add to today um, like I've said countless times before there are two ways that you cast out devils one you kind of seen how it was today and the second one is to replace people replace positions vote people out Whatever the case is, that's a second way to do it. And so I just want to share this one scripture. Um, I don't know if it's going to be one, but that's what I feel like. And it's Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. And this is why God has called us to have dominion. And many of you have heard this. This is a very familiar passage of scripture. And once again, it's Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. And so what I want to encourage you to do is not just think that everything's going to happen here, but we ought to go out and do the works of the Lord. And so Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16 says this, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? This is out of the NIV. It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. The thing we have to understand about salt during this time, salt was a very valuable commodity. It was actually currency during this time. So it wasn't just to season your food. It literally was the currency of the day. And so when you look at it from that standpoint, you will really see the importance. Of course, salt had other benefits like preserving food and things like that because they didn't have refrigerators. <laughs> but it's important to understand the importance of salt and that's what God has called all of us to do and to be. And not only that, in verse 14, it says, you are the light of the world. A town or a city built on a hill that cannot be hidden, neither do people light a lamp and put it up under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. Somebody say everyone. everyone. Notice it said everyone in the house. That means in your vicinity. The people you're connected to. They should see the light on the inside of you. Verse 16, in the same way, let your light shine before others or let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Remember, the talents, gifts, and abilities and the anointing that God places in your life ought to always point people to him. Amen. 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 Always. That's what the light is for. That's why a city is set up on a hill. It's not for your own self-aggrandizement and just to consume everything on you. Everything ought to always point back to the Father who is in heaven. Amen? 
Sometimes we go through difficult situations and there are some things that we ought to remember. And I think this is the last thing that I'm going to talk to you about. And it's simply Psalms 34. My late pastor that I grew up at that church in Columbia, South Carolina, he would always quote verse one of this scripture. And I want to leave this whole entire 34th division of the psalm with you because when things get shaky and things get crazy, it's important for us to go back to our foundation. Remember, we were talking about the blueprint, right? right. Moving from concept to reality. And so it's very important that we understand when things don't line up with the will of God for our lives, that we always have to go back to our foundation, go back to the blueprint. And it simply says this, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble, the what? The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. 